Apprentice premieres this Sunday, 9, 8 central on NBC. I just wanted to protect you so no one would find out what you really were. What am I? What am I? They are not human. Why are you here? But this was once their home. If you knew what will happen once my people come here, you'd beg me to do this. They're not taking over Earth. They'll exterminate us. They're taking it back. Your world will be destroyed. They need to be stopped, and you're going to help me stop them. The event returns Monday at an early time, 8, 7 central on NBC. Helping children cope with a life-changing event is a challenge being faced by many local parents as dozens of students witnessed a tragic event. Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. I'm Tom Blackington. A bus full of children watched as their bus driver slowly passed away. And now people are concerned for the emotional health of the children on board. Phil Campbell's been following this story since it happened yesterday and has more tonight from the scene of the accident. Many of the children who live in the neighborhood behind me pass through this intersection every day. And now, sadly, it serves as a constant reminder of the frailty of life. In the wake of Monday's tragic bus accident, many parents are wondering how they can help their children cope with their sudden loss. For many on board, Joanne Jensen was the only bus driver they ever had. Brett Judd, a licensed social worker and teacher at ISU, says it's important for parents to know what to look for as their children try to cope with this tragedy. The kids that were on that bus or even kids who know those kids, the parents need to be watching for any changes in their emotional state, any changes in their, their behaviors. And uh, are they hiding away? Are they clingier? Do they not want to be away from anybody who they care about, they love? Or are they isolating away? Their eating habits may change. Their study, lots of things can change as somebody deals with the aftermath of a trauma. Complicating things is the age of the children. The 34 kids on board were all from Stocker Elementary and ranged in age from kindergarten to fifth grade. Brett says it's critically important for these children to resolve this now because it can lead to a lifetime of problems. If it's not dealt with appropriately by the care providers in that child's life, it can have ramifications later for the way that they feel connected to individuals, their safety and security in different situations, depending on how those care providers get in there, nurture and support that child while they're dealing with this. Now it's important to remember that everyone grieves differently and to allow the children an opportunity to handle this at their own pace. Let's send it back to studio.